in this demo we remove the one of the disks that is stored the microsoft shampoint content database from vnx to see the disk failure impact to the shampoint performance we also leverage the microsoft system center operations manager with emc system center operations management packs to monitor the whole process during the demo this solution deploys all Exchange, SQL, and SharePoint servers as virtual machines on a Hyper-V cluster. The failover clustering feature provides the high availability for the virtual machines. Furthermore, the Exchange mailbox servers are configured in a database availability group DAG to provide high availability from the Exchange application and the service level. This solution also used the EMC System Center management packs with Microsoft System Center suite to monitor the storage array on the SAN environment and infrastructure. Besides, EMC Storage Integrator, a free tool for EMC customers, is used greatly to simplify the managing, viewing, and provisioning of EMC storage in a Hyper-V environment for management. In this demo, you can see that we are using Microsoft Visual Studio Test Tool to simulate the user request to the SharePoint environment. This is the EMC System Center Management Packs integrated with the Microsoft System Center Operations Manager. These tools enable the IT operators to discover and monitor the health of the EMC storage within SCOM. It includes the diagram view to show the EMC storage's array discovered in the whole environment. It can also show the health of the lungs, SPs, and the ports in different view. Here you can see it listed the Ethernet port status in the VNX5300. We can also see the storage system health and its detail in the management pack. These are the two storage pools that we would like to monitor in this solution and their detail information. You can see the status of these two pools are healthy right now. These are all the lungs which belong to these two storage pools. Their status are also healthy currently. Now we remove the disk from the VNX directly. In this scenario, the data on the removed disk was automatically rebuilt from the mirror data on the hot spare disk. Read and write operations to the disk were redirected to the hot spare disk and the SharePoint server service was not interrupted during the disk failure event. From the unit sphere, you can see the bus 0 enclosure 0, disk 18 is removed. At the same time, the data was rebuilt from the hot spare disk to replace the removed disk. If we check the storage pools of the SharePoint content database loans, the state of the these loans are faulted because of the disk failure. Now we go back and check Microsoft System Center Operations Manager SCOM. You can see a lot of the critical error messages from the EMC System Center management packs due to the disk failure. If we click the storage system group diagram, it will show the error were coming from the SharePoint content database long. If you right-click disease error messages and open the Health Explorer, you can see the detailed error message of disease critical information.
Now, if we check the VSTS tools, the user request to the shunt point dropped because of the disk rebuilding process, which may bring some performance impact to the shunt point. But during the entire period, the shunt point server service continued to run the workload without any interruption.